And yeah, for here, the flame spiders will still die from this. We don't have to worry about it too much. But whenever we... Oh, come on, mercenary. No, mercenary! Don't be an idiot. Nope, he's going to be an idiot. He's going to get himself killed. Hi. Okay, so mercenary is still alive. Yay! We somehow kept him alive in that. Don't know how. He's poisoned still, so he's going to keep losing life, but it's not going to be the worst thing ever. He, he's recovering fast enough for me to not completely hate his ass. So there's our eyeball. Thankfully, we didn't have to do like a weird wander through there. And let's see. Anything else in here that we want? Mm, Fang Helmet might be interesting because we still have our barb left to do. Um, we have Paladin and Barbarian left, for those that are wondering. So... Those might be done in 2.4. Those might we might get done in time to actually do them in this one. I don't know yet. And yes, moving around because you end up rubbing your face across like little things that you wouldn't normally rub your face on. In this, is a little bit awkward. So yeah, we'll just keep on trucking. Hi guys. Um, this might actually be a dead end right here. In fact, I can almost guarantee it is. Yeah, that's just dead end. Great. So that means pretty much I can almost promise we're going to have to go through the Great Marsh. This is playing on com this is playing on computer with a controller. Uh, there are things that I have access to that a console doesn't have, but this was a build that was requested quite frequently, so I decided to go ahead and do it because it seemed the most tolerable of them. I think probably an easier controller build for us would have been to go with a strafe boson, but I wanted to use Boriza since we found it. And we didn't find a good, just normal bow. Otherwise, I would have gone with just a strafer on that. Because strafe, unfortunately, as much as I love strafe, is absolute ass with Boriza. And ever since the removal of piercing guided arrow, it's been really rough to actually do anything with Fariza in regards to, like, guided arrow or anything like that. And I keep overcharging, which is kind of crappy. Do you keep your shared stash from other... Okay, let's see. Do you keep the shared stash from other builds? Yes. Um. Let's go ahead and do this. But... This is online. We're this is we're still doing the account self found one where we're not trading for anything, and pretty much everything that we are using we found either on camera or while leveling up. So, actually, that would be everything because we didn't really do much in the way of magic find. Did like a couple magic find runs on a few characters, but nothing too insane. Go and grab that. And our exit should be anything in here that we want. Nope. Okay. And I just need to get in the habit of just pressing the keys in the right order. So let's see. And, oh, I see a tree down there. That probably means that we're going to have the exit to this other area right Yeah, at the crossing here. Okay, so you all die. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be... This is going to be a pain in the ass map. So, mm, damn. And I don't have an enemy to teleport across to. Otherwise, I could use the dragon flight to get across that if I had an enemy to go across. But, nope, we got to run. So, let's see. Let's get some more of that going just so we can move a little quicker. And I'm glad that our shadow is kind of keeping up. But, yeah, the goal with this particular playthrough is just all seven characters is to do character, I mean, account self-bound. Basically, we are going through and trying to beat the game with items that we found on each character, progressing it to the next one without trading, without anything. Basically, what you would be doing in single player in Resurrected. So get that going. Grab this. Wow, he got poisoned immediately. Uh, yeah. Hi. Die, you fool. Thank you. Get him to finish that off. And then, why is he not unpoisoning? I think it's just glitch visual. I don't think he's actually poisoned anymore. But that's... Mm. 
Lovely. So this means that we're praying for no gloves in this godforsaken hellhole. Which is a lot to ask. So let's duck on down here. We are going to have to come here. Actually, we're not going to have to come here anyway. We're going to have to come through Flare Jungle anyway, but this is just not welcome. So we don't want to go down any of the side paths. We just want to find our way through this godforsaken place. There are Gloams. I just saw them. Which means that we could very well get murdered very easily if they decide to get um, cheeky with us. Okay, so Gloams, especially considering we don't have good ranged options, are a nightmare. Okay, so there's them in the fire. As long as they go through the fire, they're going to die. They don't have a lot of life, and they're not very durable. But boy, howdy, do they hit like trucks. Let's see. They need to actually probably lower their vision range just a little bit. Let's go ahead and blind them, because that actually helps us out a great deal. And we can drop another one in a few seconds. Okay, so that's all dead. We've got them wandering through the fire. So get that going. And if they're going in for a melee attack, they'll still come around to us. Um, I can't actually target anything in there. Because of how the targeting system with the controller is working. There we go. It was targeting a thing further away, which was a little bit awkward. Go ahead and drop that out for some corpse explosions. Oh, bye, mercenary. I didn't even see you dying because I was too concerned of dying from gloves. There you go. Hey, none of us. How's it going? Uh, you're, uh, am, am I all caught up? Uh, not at all. As far as publishing it on the Let's Play Everything channel, yeah, I, we, we've caught up on there. I actually, I meant to stay ahead before the vaccine, did not. So I, I am behind. Hooah. Can you guys, what am I running into? I can't even see him. I can't target him because the item's on the ground. Which is like really, really asinine. Oh, lordy. This needs to go in here. This needs to go in here. We need to... I, I can't target him. That's hilarious. Hey. Hey, people are, are, are coming in. Yeah. I'm going to try to get back to the regularly stream... Regular streaming schedule of Tuesday and Saturday. No promises just yet. Maybe more, maybe less. Uh, getting the videos out takes priority. So, your trap sin is starting hell and not living very well. You have skin of Viper Magi, I think it's called. Yeah, that's uh, unique. Do you upgrade it or make a rune word for, from hoping to get Countess runs? Skin of Viper Magi is perfectly fine for going through hell. You don't need to upgrade it. It's not going to make a huge difference for you. Um, if you can get it. Because for traps and I like to have kicks on the side. Um, a rune word I like making is black, which is Thol Ionef, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head. And it is basically a crushing blow for your kick, so it'll work well with your traps. And then you just go like plus skills on everything else. The trapsin's gonna struggle in Act Two mostly because the lightning immunes. But she can still do fine. How many do I need of each of these? I got 20 and 20. Okay, so we're good. I wish you would auto pick up scrolls until you are full. And hi, Thanos, by the way. Um, let's go ahead and... Yeah, go back to freaking Great Marsh. I hate this place. Um, let's go with that. Don't need to go down any of the side alleys. And we just want to keep going as far as possible. Boom. Get rid of you. I don't even care about getting their drops. I just want through this place. <laughs> I hate Gloams. I really do. They are one of the worst designed enemies in the game. 
It's, and they're a lot harder to see in D2 Resurrected as well. I was, I've been noticing that. In Act 4, it's not as bad, but with all the texture on the ground here, it's really hard to see the riffles. So let's go ahead and knock them out. There you go. We've got a Stamina Shrine. Stop catching on terrain, you jackass. Okay, so it could be two directions. I think this is going to be our exit. I think this is going to be Flare Jungle down here. I hope. Because it is extending quite far. So let's get rid of you guys. Come on. There you go. Open up the chest. Check for anything else. Can you not be a dick? But yeah, it's not going to be too bad of a run through with this character, I don't think, in the long run. What we want to do is generally get these meteors to drop on our mercenary or near him. Just so we can actually just not have to deal with like hardly anything. So this should be, yeah, player jungle. So this is where we want to be. Let's go ahead and heal up. Nuke them. But the reason we want to drop it kind of like close to our mercenary or shadow, depending on who's where, is that they'll stay there and keep fighting them. And I'll be able to just... Oh, God damn it. It's really hard to keep track of that stuff while you're doing the whole, like, I am doing martial arts and having to, like, key combo 95 things. So that and that. And we'll... I really don't want to go through here without the mercenary. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and revive him again. Yeah, the mercenary... I really, I really stand by the fact that I think them removing the mercenary bug was a dumb, dumb decision If whenever they didn't actually improve the uh, mercenary AI. But to each their own, I guess. We'll see how this works in 2.4. In 2.4, I have a feeling we're going to need mercenaries less, so that might be fine. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this number. So that, that, and that. And we'll just dump it in here, and I'll, I'll bother crafting and organizing stuff with the mouse and keyboard off screen because I really, really don't want to do it with this. Okay, so Flare Jungle. Oh, another one of you. Great. And it's going to be pretty much impossible to keep the Mercenary alive with this build in Hell difficulty. So just do keep that in mind. We probably aren't going to be relying on the Mercenary then. So grab that. They're going to kill him again. Was... I thought we had a boss mob, but I guess he didn't... I guess the Flayer Shaman didn't spawn another one. But we are definitely getting our fair share of just, like, rando shit. <laughs> okay, so, and yes, not all of them can be blinded. So, we need to... Oh, wow. Good job. Whatever hit that thing wrecked its face. So, we're going to identify... And I think the Shadow just got us into another fight, which kind of sucks. So, yeah. So I think, yeah, I think our path to the next area is up. I do think that there are trap assassin builds that we could work with with controller. I don't think there's any, like, really amazing ones, but I think there's some okay ones. Okay, get meteors, please. Thank you. Let's see, nothing too insane there. Okay, skill tree. More into this, because it's going to keep giving us more and more damage. Especially whenever we, like, overcharge and stuff like that, it's nice to have more levels in that. Can I please stop accidentally stopping running? Because I keep accidentally keep pressing that down whenever I'm trying to go somewhere. And that's mostly just my controller issue. So we'll drop that in there. It's a cheap controller, so it's really easy to push the L3 button. So let's go ahead and get another shadow. Just to pull their aggro. And just keep nuking everything. 
So let's see. Wow, you're at like one life. Running away, congratulations. Satan. Meteor, yes. I just love smacking them with that meteor because it, it really does wreck their shit. <laughs> it's very, very nice. I can't wait until we start getting our other one, which I think I'm still up in the air as to whether I want to do the lightning or whether I want to do the cold next. I think I want to do the cold one just because it's a nice one. You got a bone necro. Uh, you found a wand that has plus two to iron golem. Use it on and off hand to spawn one whenever your random item one dies. Does that get plus skills you have whenever you spawn it? Okay, Iron Golem is a bit of a weird one. Do you actually have a hard point into Iron Golem, or do you just summon it with this wand? Because if you have a hard point into Iron Golem, he, God damn it, Mercenary, you're dying to one guy. But, um... Let's go ahead and nuke this guy. He was about to just start raising things. That's silly. Boom. Um, you got a bone necro, found a one. That, okay, so you don't have a hard point into it. So let's see. I would... Pr it does... It gets the plus skills. Like if you have plus one to iron golem on a wand and you have, say, seven plus skills between your armor, your helmet, your shield, your rings, your charms and stuff like that, it'll be level eight. Iron golem. So. Personally, on the bone necro, I do prefer the... Play Golem, unless I'm running an Insight Iron. But even then, usually I don't have the points to justify an Insight Iron. It's because it'll just cost too much to keep them alive. Can I freeze things? Yes. And you are that. There you go. Go, Shadow, go! Otherwise, Mercenary is going to go get himself aced. Okay, come on. Can I hit? Thank you. What is my chance to hit these guys? Absolutely abysmal, probably. And Mercenary is just going to keep getting poisoned pretty much always here. There's a nice little freeze. And I do like the cold on this one because it does that freeze. At the same time, I don't like having to charge up to three. But the fact that... Oh, that just makes the... Full charge up even more useful for a Kixen. It stays when you switch weapons. That actually surprises me. They might have actually fixed the unsummon bug. Because, of course, it might also be because you're on class. But for a lot of classes, it would actually keep, like, in the Lord of Destruction. I don't know if it's still true in this because I haven't tested it since they patched it last. But it used to unsummon, like, your Valkyrie if you got it from Peace. If you had no hard points into it. Which was what some builds did. Oh, I'm not going to fucking chase him. You just die whenever you come chasing after me. But... A lot of builds would avoid... Getting evade, avoid, and stuff like that. Because they didn't like them. Just so that they could do... Valky and get Valkyrie peace, basically. But it would unsummon after a few seconds if you didn't have a hard point. So you just had to keep peace on 24-7. And you just occasionally have a friend. I don't know if it'll stay from game to game unless you keep the wand on your hand whenever you are loading into a new game. I know that from things like the... I'm trying to think of the name of the amulet. Metal Grid. I think... Yeah, I think it's Metal Grid. But the Iron Golem from stuff like that for other classes won't stick around between games. But that's charges, not plus skills. Who wants to stun themselves with those skills? Um, They're actually not terrible skills. It's just if you are doing melee, they can interrupt your like fend and stuff like that. Now that said... Um, it's not a big deal. You recover from it fairly quickly. And if you're curious, fanaticism is how you actually reduce the duration of them. I don't know how many of you actually are curious about that. 
But fanaticism is affects the duration of the evade animation and stuff like that. So let's grab this waypoint. 